Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube family. It is Coach Erica Janelle. I am driving, so I will not be looking at the screen. But I wanted to come before you guys. I know it's been a little minute. Um, I've been working on so many different things and still adjusting to my new job, which I am so, so, so grateful for. Um, working with this nonprofit and it's really teaching me and helping me throughout my own nonprofit. So I'm super grateful for God blessing me with this opportunity. But I wanted to come before you guys this morning and just encourage you guys to continue to focus your energy and your attention on your mental health. I want to make this year all about mental health awareness and self-care routines. Um, that is my, my focus this year mental health, physical health, spiritual health, financial health, all of the things that concern you. So instead of focusing your attention outwardly to everybody else and everything else, I want everyone to take their focus and their attention for 2023 internally into your personal situations, your finances, your um, body, your physical health, what you put into your body, what things you, you know, cleansing your body, giving yourself time to meditate, your mental health, giving yourself time to med self time to meditate, giving yourself time to focus your energies on the positive things that you want to bring into your life. And also financial health, focusing on your finances. What are your goals financially? What are the things you want to accomplish this year? This year, I personally have made it my mission to become whole in every area of my life that is lacking. There are things that I can make adjustments in in every area, financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. My love life, all of those things, I'm working on all of those areas, being the best version of myself in every last one of those areas so that I can become a well-rounded person that God wants me to be. He has so much in store for all of us and so many blessings that he wants to bring into our lives and we've got to prepare ourselves for it. Um, I am personally going on a cleanse and working on changing my entire eating um, just in general. I've, I've gone pescatarian for the most part, um, but because I do have low iron genetically, I tend to periodically eat some beef and some lamb. Um, and, and, I, and I love lamb. lamb. Lamb is probably one of my favorites and I love a good steak. Um, my blood type can actually handle beef and lamb, um, a B positive. So you need to take time to really manage your body and not do what everybody else is doing. Do what works for your body. I would love to be on a fully plant-based diet, um, but I'm just not sure if I can do that with my issues with my iron. However, um, I am working towards transitioning to a plant-based diet and I will see how it works for me. If it does not work for me, I know that I will need to implement some additional proteins in my body um, to help build my iron. But I'm saying all of this to say to you guys, focus your energy and your attentions inward and into your personal life and your personal circumstances, not your external, not everybody else. I am guilty of this myself. I put a lot of energy and attention into serving everybody else and my own personal life and my own personal circle tends to suffer, including my kids. All of the things that I'm doing for the community, all of the things that I'm doing to serve you guys, I love what I'm doing, but my, my mental health comes first and then the mental health of my family comes first. So I'm working on reprioritizing my life. And so as I'm sharing these, this journey with you guys, it's something that I'm doing myself. I'm being more conscious of it, more cognizant of how I spend my time, how I spend my energy, how I focus my time, how I focus my energy, who I put um, in these positions of authority in my life and really just being able to manage that properly. Um, it's super, super, super important. We cannot find ourselves pouring into others more than we pour into ourselves because that's when you become empty. That's when you become depressed. That's when you have anxiety. That's when you have issues. And when it's off balance, that's when you're gonna notice that big difference and that big shift in your, in your attitude and your emotions and your mental um, health. So please 
Take time to focus on yourself. Take time to build yourself. Your, once you build yourself, then focus externally to your children, the people that live in your house, your spouse, your mate, whoever that is that may be with you. And then you can do everything for the community. You cannot skip any of these steps and think that you're gonna be at your best, okay? So my encouragement to you guys is find what works for you. You don't have to do what somebody else is doing. Find what works for you. We all have our own set things that we need to do our own journey. So I wanna just encourage everybody with that. That is my focus this year. I'm really just cleansing my body, my spirit, my mind, my mental. I just wanna be whole and be a fully usable vessel for God to do whatever exploits he wants me to do in this world. I'm really, really focused on that. That is where my energy is going. I am not going to allow myself to be moved by anything else. That is my focus. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Love you very much. Have an amazing day. Bye.